sometimes you gotta pull a Brett Favre. Sometimes you gotta admit when enough is enough. And clearly Fortnite has not done that. Today I am coming out of retirement to make what I want to be. I genuinely want to be the final episode of five things Fortnite copied from Overwatch. If you guys are brand new to my channel, I had this series started back in, I would say about the fall of last year. And I made one episode. And then of course I made a second episode. And then unfoolishly I made a third episode. And after that third episode, I think that's what it became a little bit too much. An excess of anything, whether it's something that you love or especially in this case something that you hate, can be too much to the point where you don't want it anymore. And I made a fourth and a fifth episode, and once I made that fifth episode, I said I was done. It was over, and I stuck to my promise. However, there were a few things released in Fortnite that were killing me that I wanted to make an episode, but I stuck to my promise. However, the Season 9 Battle Pass just released for Fortnite on May 9th, 2019, and with it came a few things and I knew I had to come out of my retirement. So, just like my ex-girlfriend, I'm breaking my promise and I'm making another episode of five things Fortnite copied from Overwatch because if you guys are new to the series, I'm not hating on Fortnite. In fact, I don't even hate Fortnite. I'm basically just poking fun at Fortnite because Come on now, when we get the Season 9 Battle Pass release on May 9, 2019, and we get a skin like Vendetta in that Battle Pass, it just reminds you of a skin. Hmm, hmm, what kind of ninja-like creature that has a devil-like mask is also in a video... Hey, that kind of reminds me of Genji Oni, a skin that was released in 26 turns. So of course, this is going to be the first set of skins that I break down and analyze, but to be honest, do I even need to go into depth and look at every single little detail for you to understand that yes, this somewhat looks like Genji Oni, because when you look at Vendetta, obviously it's going to be this ninja-like character with a hood, and more specifically, a devil-like mask with like the squinty, evil eyes, the horns, and the big giant teeth, and then you look at Genji Oni. What does he have? Devil horns, a big giant mount with teeth, and I wouldn't say squinty eyes, but evil looking, like, those look like creepy eyes now that I look at it. So, the mask itself, come on, Epic, come on, bruh. But then you look at the rest of the outfit, and it's not too out there. Really, the biggest focal point for both of these skins is, of course, going to be the mask. But then you even look at the color palette. Something that I'm sure most of you guys didn't even notice is that it's basically the same. You have grays, you have a light bluish gray, and then you have red for the details, like, in the in the shoulder pieces, and the devil horns, and whatnot, or at least in Genji's case, not really the Vendetta skin. So, my, my, my bad, my bad. But, come on now, you knew right away once I put that skin on the screen that you knew it somewhat looked like Genji Oni. So even though Epic Games and Fortnite has been known to quote unquote get inspired from Overwatch skins, I mean, I think it's safe to say since I made a bunch of episodes covering that topic, they have also been known to copy or, or get inspired. Again, I'm not saying that they blatantly copied Overwatch with everything, but <laughs> when you look at this accessory, this vehicle, I don't even know what you would call it, you know what's going on. This is gonna be the baller or the hamster ball vehicle in Fortnite that is somewhat similar to freaking Hammond, a whole entire hero, bro. <laughs> so Hammond released back in June of 2018, and he is one of my favorite heroes because he's such a uniquely designed thing. You don't really see a lot of animals in video games to begin with unless they're companions. So to have a whole entire hero that is an animal, let alone an animal that was able to control a giant wrecking ball that can swing across the map, that is so dope. So since it's a cool idea. Of course, Fortnite has to come along a couple months later and put a vehicle where players in Fortnite can hop in into this giant ball, roll around the map, and they also have this suction cup plunger where they're able to lodge themselves, swing themselves, sort of like how Hammond's able to do that. Overwatch players obviously know this. Fortnite players, they should know this, but even journalists outside of the video game industry sees a plunger ball with a grapple and they think, Wait, did I just cover a, a new hero from Mo? Isn't that just that that hamster hero from Mo? Even they know, bro. <laughs> also, what's Fortnite's obsession with plungers? They have a battle axe with a plunger. They have now this vehicle with a plunger. They also have a, a, a gun where you can shoot yourself and lob yourself. It, it's almost like the game is. <laughs> oh, but you want to know the one thing that made me want to come out of retirement? It wasn't the Genji-like skin, and it wasn't even the hamster ball-like vehicle, which so many people wanted me to make a video on. But. It didn't make me want to come out of retirement, all because I didn't care enough. But when Fortnite copies one of my favorite side companions of my favorite hero, that's when I say enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be Koyo and Snowball. I, I, uh, I just get... Uh, I'm at a loss for words. It, it's the same thing. Koyo is basically Snowball, but in cat form. How dare you? How dare you? 
disrespect Snowball, one of the cutest little side companions in all of video game history. Not just in Overwatch, in all of video game history. All right, F that little theory from Legend of Zelda. All right, F Cortana from Halo. No, Snowball is the best side companion. So, of course, Fortnite sees that cute, adorable potential that they can kind of yoink from Overwatch. Boop. Put it in Fortnite in the form of a robotic cat. So oh. I know I said at the beginning of the video, this video is not supposed to hate on Fortnite. And boy, am I cutting it close because I just want to roast this Snowball imposter because this looks like the Walmart bootleg version of Snowball. Like, this is the thing that you ask your mom to get you at the supermarket and she gets you the generic brand because you look at it, this purple cat little thing with the ooh ooh what? Don't try to be cute, all right? It has its little ears too while Snowball's ears actually go into its head. This is just like cat-like ears. It even flies like snowball. That's when I had enough. It, it freaking flies like snowball. Okay, okay, let's take a breather, all right? We're over, we're past it, we talked about it. Now let's move on to the fourth item, because boy, we still got two more things. But this next item is gonna be one that I originally wanted to have in my first couple of episodes, in my original list. I just never got to it. So I figured let's talk about it here, because this is gonna be the Suntan Specialist in Fortnite and the Lifeguard McCree skin in Overwatch. Suntan Specialist came out on July 28th of 2018, and Lifeguard McCree came out with the Summer Games event in 2017. Now, this is gonna be the skin that so many people type in the comments, we're Overwatch Genius Van Lifeguarding, and that's where you're wrong, because I actually used to be a lifeguard, and as a specialist, as a tier one lifeguard in the water park industry, I know everything about lifeguarding. And I'm here to say Overwatch actually did invent lifeguarding, and that is why <laughs> McCree is... <laughs> Obviously, that's supposed to be a joke, but if you haven't been keeping up with the series, first go watch my other Fortnite copied Overwatch videos, because the whole idea of this series is supposed to be that Overwatch came up with original skin ideas, original ideas just in general, and then Fortnite so conveniently brought the same ideas or similar ideas into their game. It's very, very, very rare where Fortnite Fortnite has an idea that you then see in Overwatch. I can only count maybe one case of that happening. And of course, I made a whole entire series, at least I think six episodes. So that's the whole idea of this series is that yes, they might not be blatant copies of it, but come on Epic Games, come up with some OG idea. Like, oh. But even just moving away from the lifeguard theme for just a second, they even look somewhat similar. Now, yes, McCree does have a hat while the suntan specialist doesn't, but they're also both blonde. They also are charming to, well, look as sexy as possible. They both have flip flops. I mean, it's typical of a lifeguard to look like this. I'm more or less just thinking, why, why do they have to make a blonde lifeguard just like McCree? Just a lifeguard in general, man. But even if you don't agree with that skin, this last and final item set is way too close to comfort. The release dates are way too close for it to be a coincidence. And this is gonna be TNT in Fortnite and Ash's TNT in Overwatch. So Ash released on PTR on November 5th, 2019. And what happened just a couple of days later on November 20th, 2019, TNT released in Fortnite. Hello? Like, hello? Hello? They could have done anything. Fortnite could have added a bear with bombs strapped to its chest as a grenade or whatnot, or they could have just added more grenades in Fortnite, but no. Oh, no, 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 no. They really wanted to add specifically TNT right after one of the coolest woman heroes in all of Overwatch just got released into Overwatch. In Overwatch, that is such a unique game mechanic because not a lot in the game can catch heroes on fire besides Torbjorn's ultimate, but they just took that idea into the form of an ability where it's tossable, where it's controllable, but it can also separate the good Ash players from the amazing Ash players because you have to be accurate with your shot to be able to hit the TNT. Same thing in Fortnite. You can have a, a lobbing thing where you can then shoot the TNT to explode it onto people and then kill them eventually. Or you can just throw it like a, a bad kid and hope that you get a kill with it. it. It's just the fact that it's TNT, so close to the release date, and the same mechanic as it is in Overwatch, just with a hero specific and ability. And those were what I want to be the final, the finale of the series, the last and final things that Fortnite copied from Overwatch. Because I see a lot of the times in my comments saying, okay, that's enough, it's done, it's over, you're just starting to nitpick. And I took a break, I took a long break, but the fact that they had Snowball, the Hamster Ball is similar to like Hammond, this Genji skin, and even just the TNT, something as small as the TNT in Fortnite made me just want to come out and just, <laughs> well not come out, like, you know, 
Okay. Anyway, guys, if I missed anything, just comment down below. I'm not planning on making a video at this point. I don't want to promise you because, again, I feel like I'm somewhat cheating you in making you not expect a video from me whenever something does come out in Fortnite that was somewhat similar. But if anything does come out in the future, just tweet me on my Twitter and I'll think about it. All right? I don't plan on making another episode, but who knows at this point. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come. And bye.